Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to burn pretty much any uh, design, logo, or emblem into any part of the flag. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our flag. Uh, if you wanna know how to build one of these, I do have a video on that that I can link down below. And uh, we're gonna take our flag and we're gonna take whatever we wanna burn onto our flag. And uh, the first thing we gotta do is just figure out kind of where we want it. So for this one, I'm just gonna put it right down in this bottom right-hand corner. Um, this is the Keep Hammering by Cameron Haynes. Uh, shout out to Cameron Haynes. He's a super awesome bow hunter in case you don't know who he is. And um, this will be easier if you print something out that's smaller and if you don't plan on filling it in, because the tool that I use is not very, it just be really time consuming to just fill in like a big object, which you could still do it, but it would just be more time consuming. So for this one, I'm just gonna do the outline of this keep hammering. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just figure out where we want it. And then I'm just gonna tape it. With this one, I think I should just be able to get away with just taping just this bottom edge. And then maybe I'll just put a piece on the top too, just to be safe, just so it doesn't move around on me. But so yeah, first you're just gonna go ahead and tape it. And if you want it floating somewhere like out here and there's nothing to tape to, you could either tape to the wood. Um, if your flag isn't sealed yet, I wouldn't recommend taping just to the bare wood because it might peel it up. So. I would just take another piece of paper and then tape them together and then fold this over and tape this to the back and then maybe do one also on the top and then that will allow you to just tape it and keep it in place without taping to any bare wood. But uh, this one has already been sealed so I'm just gonna go ahead and just tape right down in this bottom corner where I want it. So I think I'll do it right about there. And then we're just gonna tape uh, these ones just right to the back of it Just like that and then I'll put one more on this side and then this will just keep it from moving around When we are carving it So it'll be something like that and, the, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Lightly go through and just carve it and get an outline of everything and then after it's carved Then we're gonna take a wood burning tool It looks like this and then we're gonna go through and just burn all the lines that we carved and then that will help us get a nice clean burn. So the first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna go ahead and carve it out. All right, so to do the outline, uh, I'll be using a Dremel tool. I have a uh, Dremel 3000 and I have a flex shaft attached to it. And then I'll just be using a number six wood carving tip. Uh, it's like the medium sized little round wood carving tip. If you'd like to purchase any of these, uh, this is like a wood carving engraving kit, and this is includes all the tips that I use for any wood carving that I do. Uh, I can go ahead and link that down below. But so we'll just be using the uh, 106 wood carving tip, and I just have a dust blower on here. You don't need the dust blower, but it helps to keep everything out of the way. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and just lightly carve through all of the edges that we're gonna wanna burn. So I'm just gonna outline all of these letters and you know the arrow I don't know if I'll outline the the signature up here I don't know if I'll burn that into it but I'm gonna go ahead and outline all this stuff and what I do is just turn it on full speed and I just lightly go back and forth and then it slowly carves through the paper and then it will carve it right onto the face of the wood and just try not go too deep just try barely carve through it and then that will give you a really nice clean outline of everything and if there's anything where there's something where you need to outline the middle like let's say this arrow right here I would want to outline this middle first and then do the outside because if I do the whole outside then this middle is gonna be loose and then I won't be able to get a clean outline so try to do anything that might be in the middle first and then just work your way out and then we'll get a nice clean outline so that'll be the first thing we're gonna do all right so let me show you real quick what this looks like so I'm just gonna turn my Dremel on full speed
So as you can see, I just slowly work through the paper until I hit the wood and then I just make a nice line on the wood. And then, I don't know if you can see very good with the paper still on there. Let me just fold this corner back so you can see what it looks like. But so it'll just make a nice outline and then that will make it a lot easier to make a nice clean burn on here. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline the rest of this and then we'll be on to the next step. All right, so as you can see, I got it all outlined now. So now we can go ahead and pull off our paper and we'll see how our outline looks. I'm still deciding whether I should just fill in this whole arrow and then just uh, burn the whole thing black, but I haven't decided yet. Let's see. So if we pull this off, this has sealer on it, it might do the same thing, but it's just, Gotta peel this off. All right, so there you go. Now we got a really nice clean outline on here. And the next thing that we're gonna do is just go through and just burn all these edges. We're gonna try to get a nice dark burn on them. And then hopefully that will really make this pop out. So um, I just have this $20 wood burning kit from Home Depot. Um, if you want, I can link it down below and they sell it on Amazon. But let me just show you what it looks like. So it's just this little, it's really similar to the, the flex shaft tool. You just kind of like a pen tool that you hold. And um, I think I will alternate between, um, there's this tip, which is like a, just like a long straight edge tip, or I will use, uh, this tip right here and this tip is just like a just like a ballpoint tip kind of like a ballpoint pen and this tip once it gets really hot you can just just drag it along the lines and just um, you just got to move it nice and slow and then it will just give it a really nice burn so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with this tip and see how it works just because this one's got the rounded edges I feel like it will burn um, our carved edges really good so I'm just gonna screw this guy on here and then I think you want to give it like maybe like 10 minutes, 20 minutes to heat up real good. But we're just going to go ahead and plug this in and let it start heating up and then we'll start burning. All right, so while, while my tool was heating up, I just went through and just cleaned up some of these top edges up here to make sure they're nice and nice and clean and I carved down enough and then um, I just went ahead and just carved out the center of this arrow and I'm just gonna go ahead and just burn the the inside of this black just so that it pops. Just cause around these edges, it was a little hard to get a clean outline without just carving it all out. So I think our tool is ready. So we're just gonna go ahead and you just wanna just, just press it, not too hard, but you just wanna press it so that there's some good contact. And then you just wanna slowly just like move it along each line so that it just gets a nice burn. So let's just go ahead and try. All right, so this one it heated up quite a bit so I can actually move it a little bit faster. On the last one I did, I was a little bit, I was a little bit more, uh, I didn't let it heat up for long enough, so the whole time it was trying to heat up and I just kept burning as, I was, as it would heat up, so it never really got ahead of me, but looks like if you let it get ahead of you, it makes it a lot quicker. All right, so that worked out good. Let's try this line. So 
So you could do this without carving it out like this, but it does make it a lot easier because you do have a groove that you can just rest this in. And also if you didn't, I don't know if you'd just have to burn through the paper or what, but I think this is probably the, the easiest and the safest way to go. Just move it along nice and slow. Just like that. So once all those are all filled in, then that will look uh, really nice. For this lower part, I think I might use, let just set this back over right here. I think I might use one of these smaller um, flat edge tips for um, maybe this one, um, just for like doing these lines, just because if it burns it that thick, you know, I might have to be like holding it off a little bit. So I might either use this one, just cause then I can just press it down and just get nice straight lines. Or I might use uh, this one right here. Maybe I'll probably go with this one but this one's just got a little bit of a finer tip than the one that we're using right now. And then that one might just um, allow for a little bit cleaner, cleaner lines, just since these letters are smaller than these ones up here. But all right, so we're just gonna go through and just burn all these top letters. And then when I get to these bottom letters, we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do for these. I'll probably burn the arrow too, because I'll probably use this tip for the arrow. So I got these upper letters all done and I got the arrow all done. So now I just got to unplug my, uh, my heat device and then we just got to wait for this thing to cool off just a little bit. Actually wait for it to cool off all the way. Um, I don't want anybody to get their fingers fried off. And then we are going to switch over to this tip, which will hopefully let us get in all these letters. So, Gonna wait for that thing to cool off so we can safely switch tips and then we'll start with this tip right here. All right, now we've given this a little bit of time to heat up. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if it works. If not, then we might just have to switch over to that, uh, to that skinnier blade, but let's see. All right, so that was nice and clean. Let me try another one. Yeah, I think this one worked just fine for these smaller letters. With the burning, you just gotta kinda just look at whatever you're burning and just try and figure out what's gonna what's gonna work the best for it. Cause if these, depending on what you're doing, you may just need, you know, the biggest tip they got. And I actually did do a flag where I, um, where I had to fill in a lot of it and I used the, um, let me see. Okay, I think that's gonna work just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and Get all these letters done. All right, let me show you real quick. <clears throat> if you are doing a flag where it has a lot of 
space that you need to cover. I would recommend using this to try and cover as much as you can. Um, I used it on a previous flag that I did and it, I, from what I remember, it, it worked pretty good for covering ground. But otherwise I just try and stay away from filling stuff in because unless it's something small like these with like the wood burning tips, it can actually take a while. And if I am gonna do something where it's like a big picture and I just wanna, I just want it all to be black on the inside, usually I'll just torch it before I seal it or anything. I'll torch the wood and then I can go ahead and carve into it and um, I can show you what that looks like. Otherwise you could torch it and then you could carve the outline of it and then you could use like sanding tips on your Dremel to just kind of feather out all the edges. So then it kind of looks like it's, it's burned into it and then there's an outline of it, but you just gotta get creative. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish up these letters and we'll see how she looks. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, it's really handy to just keep a razor blade and then you'll get this little bit of buildup here on the end of your tip. And just every, you know, every couple lines you do, just quickly just scrape it off with the razor blade. And then that will make sure that it doesn't like get in the way of your burning because it does burn a lot cleaner and uh, a lot quicker if you don't have that buildup on there. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. All right guys, we are all finished up with it. Uh, the only thing that you'd have left to do is just make sure that you get it sealed up so that your flag doesn't have any points for moisture to get in. Please let me know if you have any questions down below and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll link everything that I use down below also if you wanna get any of that. And uh, good luck with your project. Mm -hmm.